خولة بنت الأسور That however much I read her story I cannot cease to be amazed I think خولة If she had a fight with me She will kill me خولة بنت الأسور Is a great personality She did not see Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam But she saw the rest of the companions خولة بنت الأزور never got married But her relationship with her brother Dirar was so powerful She loved him a lot And when a woman loves, she loves رابع العدوية loved Allah And this is what happens when a woman loves Allah خديجة or Aisha loved her husband Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم This is what happens when a woman loves her husband Abu Hanifa loved his mother So much so that when his mother just passes in a circle And he is teaching in that circle He would say come on you go home all students Study uh, the circle is cancelled My mother needs me Who would do this when he is on his mobile And a mother calls you from the kitchen You would say to your mother Wait mother I'm on the phone This is what happens when someone loves his mother and when a mother loves her son. Khawla is a story of what a woman would do when she is in love with her brother. Now, Dirar is a great, brave warrior, Mujahid. He did not fear anyone. It's amazing that Dirar taught his sister how to fight. The skill of using the sword, she knows it. The skill of using the spears, she knows it. Martial arts, she knows it. Through her brother. Her relationship with her brother is so intimate. So what happens, therefore, if something bad happens to Dirar? She will become mad. And that's actually what has happened. In one of the battles called Ajanadin, Dirar was... Captured and taken as a hostage. And Khawla became mad. For one, she was not aware whether he is dead or alive. And of course, if he is dead, she would become mad. But on her suspicion that he might be alive, she decided to rescue him. Have you seen The Rock? Have you seen any American movie which is about rescuing hostages? They are a lot, aren't they? Okay, this is not a movie. This is a real story of a woman trying to rescue her brother from the territories of the Romans. And the Romans are excellent, and you know this, fighters. They are not on donkeys with swords. No, they are Excellent fighters, powerful fighters. What does she do? She wears her armor. And now when she wears her armor, no one knows that she is a woman. And she goes and fights. I would like you to visualize and imagine now that you are watching this movie. You are watching someone coming from a distance, wearing his armored clothes, You would assume that he is a man or a male and you would see him approaching the enemy. The enemy is armed as well. And on the other side, the Muslim army composed wholly and solely of men. And you see this woman or man zooming into the enemy and engaging in a fight with 20, 30, this is not an Indian movie, this is a real movie, engaging with 20, 30 people and being able to fight them and to defeat them. At that time, the Muslim army was led by Khalid ibn al-Walid. When you say Khalid, it's military skills. The Muslim people in the army that are watching this armored person fighting said that this is Khalid. This is Khalid ibn al-Walid. This can be no one except Khalid. And suddenly, they saw Khalid coming from the right hand of the army. And they were shocked. If that is not Khalid, then who is he? And one of the Muslims in the army 
called Rafa ibn Umayra, went to Khalid Walid, said, Khalid, I thought that was you. He said, no, that's not me. But I am wondering like you, who is he? He said, this is the first time I see someone fighting in this power, and this strength, and this energy. To impress Khalid, that means you are something special. When you impress a great person, that means you are equally or more great. You are more great or equally at least, but not less. Otherwise, the great will not be impressed by a lesser greater. Isn't that right? Khalid sees this man fighting and killing and fighting, and the Roman army is retreating. Of course, there are other people that are fighting, but you can see it's like in football, there is a certain player that's making an impact. Yes, there are other players with him, but you can see this is making an impact. So he can see this mobile fighter fighting here and there, fighting here and there. And if you were like watching the gladiator, you would zoom your camera into one fighter in the entire army because he is the one that is creating an impact. Khalid runs after this soldier and with his horse revolves around him. And says, show me your face. Tell me your name. By Allah, show me your face. By Allah, you fought like a great, great fighter. And the person is not answering. And Khalid felt a little bit suspicious. And then, please, tell me your name. And one person said to him, come on, speak to the Amir al-Mu'mineen in the battle. Khalid is asking you, what's your name? And then a feminine voice comes out of the armor. And she says, Wallahi ya Amir al muminin It's not out of rudeness that I am not answering your question, but I am a woman. I am not a man. I am not Khalid. And Khalid said, who are you? She said, I am Khawla, bint al-Azwar. And then he said to her, and why did you do what you did? She said, because I lost my brother, and I'm not sure if he's dead or alive. So I thought to fight them in case he is a hostage and then I can rescue him. He took her and they went to their military bases. And during the day she was crying and crying and crying, Dirar, where are you, Dirar? Are you? And she began to say poetry and I have the poetry. Dirar, are you alive or dead? Where are you, Dirar? Khawla is crying for you. Khalid felt sorry for her. So he brought Rafa ibn Umayra, the one that I told you about, who was the second man in the army. He said, Rafa, look at this poor sister. Can't you check if he's dead or alive for her? He said, okay, I'll try to check. He had a hostage, a Roman hostage. This Roman hostage confessed at the end, and he said to him, look, are you aware of someone that you captured as hostage called Dirar? He said, Dirar, Dirar, Dirar. Oh, yes. I know him. He fought like a man and he fought like a lion and he killed 40 Romans and he killed our military leader. Yes, yes. He said, where is he? He said, he is hostage in Homs in Damascus. So he's alive? Yes, he's alive. He's a hostage. Rafa ibn Umayra goes to tell Khalid, Khalid, Amir al muminin he is alive. Khalid goes and tells Khawla, Khawla, good news. Your brother is alive. Or if you want, he is alive. MashaAllah, good news. But he's a hostage. But don't worry. We will rescue him. He asked Rafa. Khalid ibn Walid asked Rafa. He said, Rafa, I want you to rescue him. Do anything that you can to rescue him. He said, how many soldiers do you need? Rafa said, I need 100 soldiers. But I'm going to select them. They need to be top of the range. They need to be excellent fighters. So I'm going to choose them. And he chose one, two, three, four, one 100 men. And then he said, Salam to Khalid, I'm going to go to Homs. Khawla bin al-Azwar said, where are you going to? They said, we are going to leave, we are going to rescue Dirar. She said, okay, Salam alaikum, go and may Allah be with you. No, 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 no. She said, I'm coming with you. I'm coming with you. Rafa said, no, but this is a male mission. You can't come with us. She said, no, I'm coming with you. Yes, but we are 100, top of the range, Arnold Schwarzenegger, I don't know who. We are all of the muscular people taking steroids day and night. She said, I don't care. I'm coming with you. Rafa goes to Khalid and says, she wants to come. Khalid says, you saw how she fought, didn't you? 
So she's not going to be a burden. Take her with you. And they took her with them. And the historians tell us, and I can visualize it, that 100 people were on their horses going to Homs, and a distance, a distance, and one soldier at the back following because of not to mingle and mix with the... Can you see it? 100? Space, 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 a woman at the back. But not a woman to yell and to, no, no, be careful. No, no, she's coming to fight with the 100. They went and she went with them and they fought and they rescued Dirar. The story ends, but there is another occasion. There is another situation. Khawla continued to fight wars and battles so as not to get the impression that she's just fighting for the sake of her brother. But whenever there is a battle, she fights. She's not treating the injured and bringing water. She's actually fighting. In one battle, she and a group of women were taken hostages by the Romans again. The leader of the Roman army fell in love with her. He said to his army members, no one gets closer to her, no one mistreats her. After we defeat the Muslims, I'm going to marry her. She is aware of that, but she doesn't care less. In the night, they were put together, and I think they were shackled, but somewhere in the middle of the... Because this is in a battlefield. So Khawla, in the middle of the night, began to speak to the rest of the women. Are you going to accept this humiliation? Are you going to accept this capture? Do you know what it means to be captured by those Romans? Those pagans? Are you going to accept that? Some of the women said to her, but yes, but we don't have any horses. We don't have any swords. Look at a woman now that thinks about alternatives. She said, yes, but we have the pigs. So she said, yes, but we have these. And wallahi, sisters and brothers, she took this thing from the tents and she shouted. Have you seen, uh, have you, you've, some, at least the men, you've seen gladiators, some of you, where when they fight with the animals and with those, he says to them, let's keep together, let's close and be in a circle together. Don't keep apart from each other. This is exactly what Khawla ibn Azwar said. He said, look, if we wanted to fight those Romans, we have to stick together. We should not depart from each other. And everyone holding a stick. And whenever she sees a Roman, straight away on the top of his head. And they did exactly that. Five Romans came. And this is maybe like an Indian movie now. Five Romans came, they were killed. Ten Romans came, they were killed. The one who is in love with her from the Romans, I think this should be turned into a movie. The one who was in love with her said to her, Khawla, what are you doing? Are you going to kill me? After this has ended, I will marry you and we will live in the greatest palace in Damascus. She said, Wallahi, to get married to the worst person in the Muslim community is far more better than to get married to you. Then she actually continues to fight and continues to fight. And he says to her, Wallahi, I can kill you, but I don't want to kill you. I love you. She says, kill me if you're a man. And he approaches and approaches and she approaches and approaches. And at that moment, the Muslim army comes headed by Khalid ibn al-Walid, Rafa ibn Umayra, saying, Takbir, Allahu Akbar. And all the Romans run away, and all these hostages become cut and loose, and they come, and Dirar is one of them, and she jumps on the horse and say to the rest of the women, look, this is how we can gain our freedom again. And they went back. Who can do this? I can't do it. This is Khawla bint al-Azwar. 